Welcome back to our channel, sports fans. Today, we have an exciting video for all the tennis enthusiasts out there. We'll be diving into the world of one of the greatest tennis players of all time, Novak Djokovic. While you may think you know everything about him, we've uncovered 10 little-known facts that will leave you amazed. So, let's get started. Number 10. Djokovic is a polyglot. Novak is more than just a great tennis player, he is also fluent in several languages. His current count is 11, making him a polyglot. In addition to Serbian, he is fluent in English, French, Chinese, German, Italian, Spanish, Arabic, Russian, Portuguese, and Japanese. As a result, after winning a match, he frequently entertains his fans by speaking a few sentences in another language in front of the media. His language ability has come naturally to him since he was a child. I don't believe you can learn that. You simply have it in you. My brothers are both multilingual. It's something I guess we have in the family, he said in a 2012 interview with NDTV. Number 9. He wanted to end his career in 2010. Novak Djokovic faced a career crossroads in 2010. After experiencing a series of disappointing performances and struggling with injuries, Djokovic contemplated ending his tennis career. However, with the support of his family, coaching team, and determination, he decided to persevere and make a remarkable comeback. It was a challenging time for me. I doubted my abilities and questioned whether I could compete at the highest level. But deep down, I knew I had more to give. With the encouragement of my loved ones and my own self-belief, I decided to give it another shot. Number 8. Opening a vegetarian restaurant in Monaco. Djokovic is a foodie, and in April 2016, he opened his own vegetarian restaurant to satisfy his cravings. He launched it in Monte Carlo, where he spends his off-season. Egvida is the restaurant's name, and he described its opening as a return home. Serdan and Diana Djokovic, his parents, own several restaurants in Serbia. Because of my family, I've always had a love for food, Djokovic explains. But as an athlete, it became something more. The fuel that determines how I play, how I recover, and how alert I am on the court. I attribute a great deal of my professional success to my diet, he explained to Forbes. In his restaurant, Djokovic serves vegetable dishes and various cheesecakes, pasta, porridge, salads, soups, and healthy sweets. His favorite dish is vegan zucchini lasagna with cashew ricotta and red pepper marinara sauce. Number 7. Discreditation attempt for a sex tape with a model. Natalia Eki, a well-known Serbian model, revealed a conspiracy against Djokovic in 2021 in an interview with Svet and Scandal magazine in which she was offered to help discredit the tennis player by having sex with him. Her job was to seduce him and record the action. They promised her 60,000 euros and a worldwide vacation. One guy did contact me. I knew him from the city and he was known as a reliable manager. I'm familiar with his work and everything was fine. When he asked to meet with me, I assumed it was for a business project, a painting, or an online show. However, as the conversation progressed, I realized it had nothing to do with my job, she explained. The goal of it all was to ruin the tennis player's reputation and his marriage. Since 2014, he's been married to Jelena Djokovic. The model initially mistook it for a joke. She later realized they were serious about their offer. To be honest, I was offended and humiliated. I'm hoping they didn't find a girl who would do that to Novak. Natalia Icky added, He is our best ambassador in the world, a good example, and a family man. Number 6. Record in Highest Earnings Novak Djokovic has achieved unprecedented financial success throughout his career. As of our knowledge cutoff in September 2021, Djokovic has amassed an astonishing amount of prize money, sponsorship deals, and endorsement earnings, making him one of the highest earning athletes in the world. Novak Djokovic's prize money alone is staggering. By consistently dominating the tennis circuit and winning numerous titles, Djokovic has earned an extraordinary sum of money. As of 2021, he had surpassed $150 million in career prize money, setting a new benchmark in the sport. But Djokovic's financial success doesn't stop there. He has also become a magnet for lucrative sponsorship deals and endorsements. 
major brands including leading sports companies, global corporations, and luxury brands have recognized Djokovic's star power and his impact on and off the court. These endorsements contribute significantly to his overall earning. Number 5. He stopped eating animal products. It's no coincidence that Djokovic opened a vegetarian restaurant in Monaco after quitting eating animal products himself. He has been following a strict plant-based diet for several years. It all started in 2007, when Igor Tedeyevi, a doctor and nutritionist, discovered that Novak is allergic to gluten and has mild asthma. Is Novak Djokovic gluten-free? Yes, I am gluten-free since 2010. Um... He stopped eating dairy, gluten, meat, and processed sugar. His diet primarily consists of fruits, particularly lemon, celery juice, green smoothie drinks, quinoa salads, cereals, and sweet potatoes. However, Djokovic dislikes the term vegan because he believes it is misinterpreted and misused by people in derogatory ways. Number 4. 20 Grand Slams Novak Djokovic's journey to 20 Grand Slam titles has been nothing short of awe-inspiring. Starting with his first major victory in 2008, Djokovic has continued to raise the bar and dominate the tennis world. His Grand Slam triumphs span across all four major tournaments, showcasing his versatility and dominance on different surfaces. Djokovic's Grand Slam collection includes nine Australian Open titles, five Wimbledon titles, three US Open titles, and three French Open titles. This level of success across multiple tournaments is a testament to his exceptional skills, mental fortitude, and unwavering determination to excel in all conditions. Djokovic has also shattered numerous records along the way in his pursuit of greatness. He became the first man since Rod Laver in 1969 to hold all four Grand Slam titles simultaneously when he achieved the Knoll Slam in 2016. Additionally, he has spent considerable time as the world number one, solidifying his dominance in the sport. Number 3. Imitating his opponents Djokovic has a great sense of humor, which he frequently displays in public. Particularly amusing are his impersonations of other tennis players. He has previously imitated former American tennis player Andre Agassi, for example. There's also a well-known video from the 2007 U.S. Open in which he mocked Russian tennis player Maria Sharapova and his longtime Spanish rival Rafael Nadal. He made fun of Sharapova in front of the entire Tribune by tucking his t-shirt all the way into his shorts, pulling his socks down, and throwing the ball in an unnaturally stretched out posture. He looked like Rafael Nadal after pulling his shorts up to his knees and turning his t-shirt into a tank top. He jumped up, grabbed the ball, and ran across the court. Number 2. Charity Projects The Novak Djokovic Foundation is at the heart of Djokovic's charitable initiatives. Established in 2007, the foundation aims to improve the lives of children, particularly in Serbia and other underprivileged areas. The foundation focuses on early childhood education through various programs, providing educational opportunities and resources to help children reach their full potential. Djokovic's foundation has implemented numerous projects, including building and renovating schools, equipping classrooms with technology and learning materials, and supporting teacher training programs. These efforts have profoundly impacted thousands of children, empowering them with the tools they need to succeed in life. Djokovic has been quick to lend a helping hand in times of crisis. During the COVID-19 pandemic, he stepped up and launched several initiatives to support those affected by the global health crisis. Djokovic donated substantially to hospitals, medical equipment providers, and organizations working tirelessly to combat the virus. Number 1. Starring in a Hollywood movie, Novak Djokovic admitted he was inspired by the cult film 300 Inches and its Scottish star Gerard Butler, who was there to cheer him on in the US Open final. The world number one defeated Roger Federer 6, 4, 5, 7, 6, 4, 6, 4 to win his 10th major title. He sought out Butler, who watched from the player's box as he celebrated with his family and team. 
Hollywood recognized Djokovic's acting talent, which he frequently displayed in the mockeries mentioned above of his opponents. In the film, he was invited to appear in a cameo alongside Sylvester Stallone and Arnold Schwarzenegger. He also worked in Bulgarian film studios on the 2012 action film The Expendables, The Expendables 2. Djokovic has a small but not insignificant role in Expendables 2, where he plays himself, Nuboyana Film Studios' Dimitar Derelev revealed. Even though his role drew a lot of attention, the scene in which he fights armed attackers with a tennis racket was eventually cut from the film's final version. Thank you for taking the time to watch. I hope you liked the video. If you want us to make more videos like this, please subscribe to the channel and leave your recommendations in the comments section.